This familiar tune takes us back a hundred years ago to the jazz age, a time when haircuts and hemlines were getting shorter and model tees were the car to be seen in. Sedona had less than 100 residents and was starting to become known for its iconic red rock landscapes. Now, let the Humane Society of Sedona take you back to those simpler times to celebrate the animals and our first virtual pet lovers gala, the Roaring Twenties in 2020. Good evening, I'm Sheila Hoffmeyer, President of the Humane Society of Sedona Board of Directors. Welcome to our 2020 Virtual Pet Lovers Gala. To our donors, adopters, friends, business partners, sponsors, volunteers, and staff, a sincere thank you for your continued support. We look forward to celebrating virtually this year. Please enjoy our fun and entertaining yappy hours Monday through Friday this week at 5.30 and our gala on Saturday night from 5.30 to 7, all streamed live from our Facebook page. Be sure to invite your friends and family to join us on our Facebook every evening to meet our adoptable animals, experience behind the scenes access to the shelter, get to know the staff, volunteers, and foster families, all who work together to ensure that homeless animals in our care find loving homes. We need your financial support, especially this year, due to the challenges we faced during the pandemic. We encourage you to donate by texting DONATE to 928-212-2722 or go to our website donation page. You can also support us by being part of our amazing silent auction that starts tonight and ends on gala night. You must register to participate so text GALA to 928-212-2722. That's GALA, 928-212-2722. And it will take you to the free registration. Raffle tickets for the one-of-the-kind Puppy Lovers Quilt are also available. And how excited we are to welcome local celebrities to entertain us with their musical cooking, cocktail making, and Charlton dancing talents. Be sure to leave comments on our Facebook page, upload your photos and videos for the costume contest. Animals are welcome too, as well as the cooking photo contest. It all starts tonight, and we thank you all for your participation. Now I'm pleased to introduce the individuals on this Zoom call, all members of the Humane Society Board of Directors. Good evening, my name is Bob Jorgensen. I'm a retired regional department manager for United Parcel Service. I retired 16 years ago out of Atlanta, Georgia and moved with my wife, Jean, to Sedona. Six years ago, I became an officer and board member of the Humane Society of Sedona. My wife and I have always had a passion for having and caring for pets, and we've had many, which we've had since we've been married. That passion brought me to the shelter as a board member and officer. I'm currently the recording secretary for the shelter. The shelter has a long history of saving and protecting animals in our community. The cost of doing this is through generous donations by you and other members of our community. We thank you for your support of our gala event, especially during this pandemic crisis that we are all facing. Support of our organization lies in the support of our thrift stores, volunteers, and donations. Please continue to help us by donating to the Humane Society of Sedona by texting DONATE, D-O-N-A-T-E, to 928-212-2722. Thank you for your time and support. Thank you so much, Bob and Sheila. I'm Jennifer Brailler. I'm the Executive Director of the Humane Society of Sedona, and I want to welcome you to our first ever virtual gala. Before we start off, I want to give a great shout out and a big thank you to our wonderful, amazing sponsors, donors, and supporters of the animals here at the Humane Society of Sedona. I'm Arlette Levitan. I volunteer here for, very, for a number of years now, seven years or so. I walk dogs primarily. Um, there are lots of other things you can do to help out at the Humane Society. Um, of course, having a, a good adoption is what we really uh, strive for. 
Um, this fellow is Courage. He's a senior, which means he's seven or older. He's had kind of a hard life. His ears torn, his tail's been broken, his pads are really thick, which probably means he was out uh, roaming for a good period of time. Um, but he's a sweetheart. I'm Barry Levitan, also a Levitan. Um, I'm on the board of directors here for a couple of years now. I'm going through some challenging times at the shelter with a COVID virus and um, dogs still need to be put in homes, cats need to be put in homes. I was trying to get uh, Courage to tell me his story uh, earlier, but all I got were these freckles poking against me and some tail wags. Um, every dog deserves to be in a good home, and I think a dog completes a good home. Uh, family, kids, dog, some people it's cats, that's, that's okay too. Um, but we try to get every dog that comes through here into a good home. We take in strays, we take in uh, uh, surrenders. surrenders. Um, we, we go out and get other dogs from other shelters uh, and fortunately there's enough dogs out, animals out there that need to be rehomed. It's wonderful to get these dogs out to great homes. The animals are counting on you this week and every week. The Humane Society of Sedona's Gala is their biggest fundraiser of the year. You get to be a part of that. I get to be a part of that. And it's going to be fantastic. But we need your help, your support, your sponsorship and donations matter today more than ever. So join us and please donate. Hi everybody, Glenn Scarpelli here from Sedona Now TV, and we are so happy to support and sponsor the Humane Society of Sedona. And I'm standing here with these two beautiful rescue angels of ours. <laughs> Just walked away. Come over here, Jordan. Jordan actually was rescued at the Humane Society. And we always say, who rescued who? Right? Who rescued who? We love supporting the Humane Society of Sedona. And we love the Humane Society of Sedona. Have a wonderful night, everybody. We are so excited to bring a lot of fun for you this week. We have so much in store. It's the Roaring Twenties in 2020, where you'll learn to make a sidecar and learn to dance the Charleston. Welcome to Moonshine Monday, everyone. I'm Felicia. I'm the Director of Development at the Humane Society in Sedona, and we're so excited to have you all here with us virtually. It's going to be a great week. We've got lots going on, so tune in. Sedona in the 1920s was a pretty quiet town, which you'll find out later this week. But there were a few families, we won't say any names, that were making moonshine. So not only did Sedona have some secret moonshine going on, there was a winery. Can you believe it? The Verde Valley had a winery in 1920. Henry Sherman, who made Red Rock wine in his stone winery in the area of the Loop Road, was jailed for a time for selling his wine. Part of Moonshine Monday is that we've got some great silent auction items that are alcoholic themed. We are not able to auction actual wine or alcohol on a virtual gala, so we've got some certificates for you to bid on. Bid on the Verde Valley Wine Lovers Experience or a great wine tasting for 10 people in your own home with Michael Robb, a local sommelier. Join us online for our silent auction. Text GALA to 928-212-2722. Our premier auction item this evening is a K9 experience. And Arlette's going to tell us about it. Take it away, Arlette. Good morning. My name is Arlette Levitan, and I did the K9 ride along with Officer Reed and Max about a year ago. It was a phenomenal experience. We started with lunch, and uh, Officer Reed had to excuse himself from the table. He has a special app on his phone that tells him when his vehicle is getting too warm for Max and he had to go outside and turn the air conditioning up. From there we went to the uh, police station, which I've never been in before, and I got a tour. 
And then we got into the police officer's vehicle, and I did a ride along with him. Max was in the back, uh, and he did some routine traffic stops, and I got to listen and see everything that went on. Um, from there, we went over to Posse Grounds, where he let Max out of the vehicle. Max proceeded to jump the fence and chase a ball, and Officer Reed stopped him about 25 feet from the ball. Um, the dog's recall is amazing. And then he uh, did some drills with hand signals. Uh, Max can turn left, right, um, uh, and that is for if they're doing search and rescue in a building, and they have to be silent. And after the drills, uh, Officer Reed plays with him with a toy. They play tug of war, and uh, I mean, who wouldn't want to go to work and play every day? Max just loves it. And then we went back to the police station, and Officer Reed hid trace amounts of cocaine, meth, and heroin in three vehicles. And Max found these drugs within minutes. It was so impressive. Um, anyway, they are an amazing team, and we are so fortunate to have them working for us in our community. They are offering this experience again this year as a silent auction item, and I would highly recommend checking it out and bidding on it. It is definitely worth your time. Shh. What? Shh. I think I'm missing something. What's that about? It means there's going to be a silent auction yeah? all week from September 21st to the 26th. Oh! The Humane Society of Sedona. Sedona. Yeah. That's right. They're That's having right. a silent auction. You know, there's some really down and out needy animals that need your help. They really do. No. Do you know how to register? No. Okay, I'm going to tell you. You text yeah. that number right there. Where? Right there. Where? Right there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I see it, yeah. You gotta register first, so text that number that you see on this screen and give from your heart and give from your wallet too. <laughs> okay? Yeah, remember, Humane Society of Sedona. September 21st to the 26th. 26. You can give to so many animals that really need your help. Hey everybody, did you hear the huge news? The Humane Society of Sedona's biggest fundraiser of the year, the gala, is going virtual. So now is the time to get all excited because there's going to be lots and lots and lots of good news that we're going to be bringing to you. And one is this lovely quilt. And I want to point this guy out because there's quite a story with this one. The quilters here in Sedona, the Red Rock quilters, are who put this together. And I want to have Teresa introduce herself and the group, please. Hi, my name is Teresa Frank. I'm the president of the Red Rock Quilters. We are a group of interesting, talented women from beginning to unbelievably experienced quilters. And we all have good hearts. They made this beautiful quilt. And the story behind one of these little puppies is it ran away. <laughs> you know, and it had to be rescued. It did. By the Humane Society of Sedona. Yeah. <laughs> And it's that little rascal right down there in the corner. And I said, I looked at him and I thought, that's a runner. I know we have to keep an eye on that one. That's right. Terriers. Terriers are like this, are. correct? Yeah. So what was it like putting this together and why was it important for you to do this? Well, we are wonderful volunteers and we have a friend who um, heard the need for something. And so you put it together and it's here now and you can go over to the website for the Humane Society, humanesocietyofsedona.org or their Facebook page and get a raffle ticket online right now. It'll really help. You can Trust take me. a puppy home and you don't even have to feed it. Oh my goodness, I love that. All right, so head on over to the humanesocietyofsedona.org and make sure you pick up your raffle ticket. You might win. Do you want to be a part of our silent auction? Go to our website right now and register for our silent auction. Get your bidder number at humanesocietyofsedona.org. Come on, be a supporter. Donate now to the Humane Society of Sedona. Text DONATE, D-O-N-A-T-E, to 928-212-2722.
Welcome to Honshin Fine Art. We have two galleries, the Gallery of the Ascending Spirit and the Gallery of Wholeness, Harmony and Radiance. We are a gallery of peace. We've been working for 21 years now with Thich Nhat Hanh, the acclaimed international peace master, to spread the word of peace to Honshin Fine Art, the Trust Your Heart Gallery. Hi, I'm Pat Schweitz, director of the Sedona International Film Festival, and we are proud to support the Roaring Twenties and the great work that the Humane Society of Sedona does by donating a great package to the auction, a 20-film ticket package to the Sedona International Film Festival, our 27th annual celebration, which will be February 20th through 28th this coming year. We hope you'll bid, 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 because we're sweetening the pot, and we're also throwing in a $100 gift card to the Mary D. Fisher Theater, so you can come and enjoy films and special events all year long, or even use it at the concession stand. So support your four-legged friends and the great work that the Humane Society of Sedona does. Bid, 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 and know that it's going toward a great cause. We'll see you at the movies. Hi, my name's David Kavalik. I'm the veterinarian at Sedona Animal Clinic. I'm also the contract veterinarian for Humane Society of Sedona. It's a great organization. I'm very proud. We're all very proud here to work with them. And please give to their gala this year. Our wonderful Great Catsby sponsors are Alan and Linda Brescher, and we're going to hear a few words from Linda, one of our amazing volunteers at the Humane Society of Sedona. But also, what you may not know about Linda is military working dogs are very true to her heart as they are for me. Hi, my name is Linda Brescher, and my husband and I, Alan Brescher, are longtime supporters of the Humane Society of Sedona. We even were here before this beautiful building was built. Um, I wish that you could come with me on an invisible tour of what happens here from 7 in the morning until 7 at night. Oh, by the way, this dog is 10 years old and as sweet as can be, as you can see. Um, starting at 7, kennels are scrubbed, dogs are fed, blankets are washed, everything is cleaned completely. The dogs get their walk with the volunteers. They get a nice walk. We make sure that everything is taken care of while they're outside. And then they come in and get a delicious dinner. Some get chicken, some get hot dogs with their meals. Some need rice because they're underweight. They get their meds. They have a chart for every single dog and what that dog needs. And then after that, they're tired and they get to rest. This is the most incredible shelter. The staff is more than just the staff. They take care of everything, medical, and the medical goes way beyond spay and neuter. It goes when a dog has lost an eye, a dog has a broken leg, they come in all, come in all sorts of problems, and we take care of them with our medical fund. And that's why I'm asking you to take care of these animals that have no voice and only need your help, your money, your support, your sponsorship, whatever you can do to help those. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Humane Society of Sedona, located in one of the most beautiful places on earth in northern Arizona, where the Humane Society of Sedona is here to protect companion animals and really make that connection between people and pets. Hi, I'm Jennifer Brailler, the Executive Director of the Humane Society of Sedona, and I want to welcome you to our wonderful facility and to take a quick tour of all the great work that we do here. To start our tour off, 
We are in our lobby where we greet our guests for adoptions and reclaims and animals coming in. And we have off to the side our thrift boutique where adopters can purchase the essential items that they need to start off on a good foot with their animals. Crates, bowls, as you can see, cat scratching posts, you know, just a lot of great essential items to start off successfully with their new pet. We also have two thrift stores, one located in West Sedona and one located in the village of Oak Creek, where 100% of the proceeds coming into those stores support the animals here at the animal shelter. So this is our outdoor courtyard area where our employees and our volunteers are able to bring the dogs out and get a little exercise as well as do meet and greets for our potential adopters. It's a nice nice space, you can see the fountain in the back, it really helps calm down both the people and the, and the dogs when they're doing their interaction and we have little kiddie pools that they can play in as well as a lot of different um, treats and toys and just a really nice space for people to kind of get to know the dogs that they're interested in adopting. So in all of our kennel runs are indoor-outdoor runs for our dogs so they can have um, extra space and really more com comfort while they're staying with us. We also have a number of our um, kennel spaces have guillotined areas that actually open up the kennel so if a dog really needs extra space we can provide two or three enclosures to them to really have them have a lot more space that they can feel more comfortable here. So these three little puppies were stray pups that were found out in the desert here and um, somebody thankfully found them because the heat can get pretty brutal out here and we're so thankful that they brought them into us and Lock, Stock and Barrel are almost ready for adoption. They have a little bit of medical that we're working through, a little bit of medical condition, but uh, they're doing great and responding well to treatment. So this is our cat room where we have our cat, adult cats and kittens that come in and are cared for by our wonderful staff and volunteers. And as you can see, we have a mama kitty right there with Dakota, one of our wonderful employees and one of our kitties that's looking for a home. Uh, something unique about our facility is we have both your more traditional shelter housing with condo type areas as well as real life rooms that are set up more like your living room or gives the cats more space to really stretch out, play, socialize with our employees and our volunteers as well as we have TVs with DVDs that run for our kitties as well to keep them entertained when our staff and volunteers are away. Well, thank you for joining us on our very quick tour of the Humane Society of Sedona. And remember, you can shop at our two thrift stores, one in West Sedona and one at Village of Oak Creek, as well as here at the shelter. And we really thank our community and everyone for all of your support, and we look forward to seeing you very soon. We are so excited to be offering a VIP pass to Sedona Wolf Week 2020 as an auction item this year. And with your VIP pass, not only <laughs> are you going to get access to all of our amazing lectures from experts from all over the world, but you're also going to get <laughs> to participate 
in an evening with Rick McIntyre from Yellowstone National Park and one of his signed books. It's right new on the market. You're also going to get to spend an evening with Doug Smith, the head wildlife biologist, Rick McIntyre and Carter Niemeyer uh, together as they banter around. <laughs> also, different workshops. You'll get a free uh, Sedona Wolf Week t-shirt, a swag bag full of all kinds of wonderful coupons from our sponsors, and much, much more. <laughs>
Hi, Alcatraz here. And Valerie Valentine, yeah. We are inviting you here to Facebook on the Humane Society of Sedona's Facebook page every night at 5.30 from September 21st through September 26th. That's right. That's right. Hey, this is what's happening. Lots of fun. Gerardo, the owner of Gerardo's? Yeah. yeah. He is going to be teaching some Italian cooking classes. My favorite food. Oh, and Speakeasy Shannon will be teaching you how to make the most swankiest 20s cocktails. Yeah, you know what? I don't like that gin in the bathroom. No, it's not very tasty. It tastes terrible. It really terrible, does. terrible. You know, Shannon comes from class experiments. She knows all about booze. <laughs> yeah, so make sure you tune in.